this video is uh, for both uh, cs stream and uh, electronic stream so both can refer uh, this topic from module 3 it is common for both the stream you can refer uh, these videos uh, both of them my dear students i welcome you all for svk tutorials i will be solving uh, the problems of uh, uh, statistical methods and uh, curve fitting and also for uh, curve fitting uh, the shortcut have been released already you can refer my previous video for how to solve uh, the curve fitting so this is the problem they have given 6 to b we need to fit a parabola y equal to a, a x square plus b x plus c for the given set of data so now we will solve this problem by using a least square method so first uh, consider the given uh, standard uh, uh, equation that is uh, we need to get y equal to ax square plus bx plus c uh, be the required parabola for that uh, parabola the normal equation is given in the equation star that is sigma y equal to a times of sigma x square plus b sigma x plus nc similarly sigma xy equal to a times of sigma x cube plus b sigma x square plus c summation x uh, summation x square y which is equal to a times of summation x power 4 plus b times of summation x cube plus c x square so as we observe in the normal equation we need to get from the following data we need to get summation y summation x summation x square summation x cube summation x power 4 summation x y summation x square y so if we get all these values then we can find a b c value after getting a, a small letter a b c you can substitute that values you are going to get the required standard parabola so i have tabulated that consider the given data that is x y so from that data i am finding out x square x cube x power 4 and x y x square y x square y so then i can find out summation x summation y summation x square summation x cube summation x power 4 summation x y summation x square y so how to solve this by using your calculator the shortcut i am going to give now so take out your calculator so i think you all taken out your calculator i am doing this purposefully for you so you can watch this video and share this video with your friends i am doing a shortcut you can make use of it and easily you can score in your examination see first clear all the memory then press uh, setup so there you have a word called stat here so press uh, the number three so in your display you are going to get uh, then press cac in the display you are going to get statistics here so once you got this uh, 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 display in your calculator go with uh, shift one press shift one it will ask a type here so what type of uh, equation we need to get so press 1 so in that i need to get a x square plus b x plus c right so for that reason so i will be taking equation number 3 press 3 so once it has clear memory you can press equal to it will be cleared so after clearing the memory you can enter these values whatever x y values you have enter that uh, values x y values so the x value is 1 equal to press enter then 1.5 press enter then 2 plus enter 2.5 plus enter then 3 press enter 3.5 plus enter 4 press enter then go for use uh, the joystick so then go to above value called uh, y then type the values of y 1.1 press enter 1.3 enter 1.6 enter the value 2 enter the value 2.7 enter the value 3.4 enter the value 4.1 so then afterwards press ac again until unless the problem ends don't press on button press ac go with again shift 1 shift 1 so go with sum here press 3 so it will ask what are all the values you need x square i need right first x square so i need first x means you can take that also you need so just i can show the example here press 2 equal to you're going to get the x value as it is 17.5 similarly i will go with shift 1 so there take uh, sum so in that i will go with uh, the last value x square y so that is uh, 
7 plus 7 equal to plus equal to you are going to get the required answer 154.475 you can middle you can check the middle value also any value you can consider this is the procedure of uh, getting the answer then how to calculate abc directly you can get the value abc uh, see here i will show the answer what i told i told you to uh, we can verify the values of uh, abc directly uh, after getting these values what we are going to do we substitute all these values we are going to substitute all these values in the above normal equation uh, so that is what we have done so we are substituting the value uh, summation x square summation x square a summation x summation x then uh, n value so summation y so you can see above here the normal equation that is what i am doing substituting all the summation values i am going to get this um, equation the normal equation has been become like this then i need to get the values of abc how to find the values of abc i will show in your calculator as we have considered you can i will show here one time being go with the type here so in that type i have considered the equation a the constant a plus bx plus cx square the given equation here in your calculator the equation is of the form a plus b x plus c x square whatever the value you are going to get c in your calculator that will be the value of a whatever the value you are going to get a in your calculator that will be the value of c so i will go here now so i will show the uh, verification for abc so here go with the uh, regression 5 plus 5 plus 5 here you have 1 so first i will go with the uh, 3 to get the value of a plus 3 equal to you got the value of a 0 0.243 so 0 0.243 i have round it off for three decimal place now next i will go with the c b value shift one then press five then b value press two equal to so you got minus 1.298 so that will be round it off then you are going to get 93 finally i need to get c value that is press a there go with the regression in that a value 1 equal to i got 1.0357 round it off for 3 decimal it will be 36 that is how you can find out the values of abc and substitute in the required quadratic equation you are going to get the required parable this is how to solve the problems of curve fitting i have also explained in my previous video just if you go to my uh, youtube channel there you can take the curve fitting so you'll get to know how to solve the problems of straight line also so moving on to next problem consider the given problem the following table gives the heights of uh, fathers and sons so they have tabulated uh, x and y uh, x uh, stands with fathers uh, height and uh, y stands with the uh, son height so they, they have given set of uh, n values uh, the values containing you can count the number of values given so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so you can take the value of n as 8 calculate the coefficient correlation that is you need to find out r value and lines of regression that is y on x y on x y on x and x on y x on y you need to find out these two things so let us solve the problems so already i told you the value given set of values n equal to 8 then go with the tabulation tabulate this how to tabulate this means consider the given set of values called x then y then we are going to find out the difference of those two that is named as z z is given by x minus y then find out squares of uh, these values x square y square z square i have find out that so after tabulating that values so find out this sum finally i went with the sum of all the values i have find out the summation x summation y summation z summation x square summation y square summation z square then i will find out uh, x bar that is mean how to find out uh, x bar means that is nothing but it is given by the formula summation x this is what summation x summa summation x divided by n so which is nothing but 544 divided by n that is 8 so simplifying that you are going to get the value as 68 similarly y bar i am going to find out y bar is given by summation y divided by n 
which is 552 divided by 8, it will give 69. Finally, Z bar is given by summation Y Z bar, summation Z bar divided by N, so which is minus 8 divided by 8, so which is equal to 1, minus 1. So this is how to find out X bar, Y bar, Z bar. After finding out X bar, Y bar, Z bar, so to find out coefficient of correlation, we need uh, sigma x, sigma y, sigma z. So for that reason, I am going to find out sigma square x. How to find out sigma square x means the it has a standard formula. It is given by the formula summation, summation x square, summation x square divided by n minus x bar the whole square, minus x bar the whole square. This is the standard formula for sigma square x. So by substituting, you know what is sigma square x? But here you have 37028 divided by 8. Simplify that minus x bar value is 68 whole square. You are going to get 4.5. Similarly, for sigma square y, you can guess the formula. So what is the formula? The formula is sigma y square divided by n minus y bar whole square will give uh, sigma square y that is 5.5. Similarly, for sigma square z is what? sigma z square divided by n minus z bar whole square we are going to get z square x z square sorry you are going to get sigma square z so after getting all these values we can take out square root and go and uh, try to get sigma x sigma y sigma z this is how to find out sigma x sigma y sigma z so after getting all these things we can go with uh, the formula R co correlation coefficient is given by sigma square x plus sigma square y minus sigma square z. This is nothing but x minus y is nothing but z. Sigma square z divided by 2 times of sigma x sigma y. Substitute all the values 4.5 plus 5.5 minus 4 all divided by 2 times of 2.1232 into 2.34521 simplifying this we are going to get the correlation coefficient value as 0 0.60302 this is how to find out correlation coefficient now moving on to finding uh, the regression lines lines of regression we have a standard formula y on x and x on y we will use that formula y minus y bar which is equal to r into sigma y by sigma x into x minus x bar you know all the values y bar you know you know what is r you know what is sigma y you know what is sigma x you know what is sigma x bar substitute all the values and simplify this you are going to get the lines of regression that is y on x in the same way we solve for x on y it is given by the formula x minus x bar equal to r into sigma x by sigma y times of y minus y bar substituting all the values you are going to get the lines of regression on a x on y so are the required lines of regression are the required lines of regression this is how to solve the problems of lines of regression and correlation coefficient now moving on to next problem uh, this is what the next problem with uh, usual notation compute x bar y bar and r from the following lines of regression i think already in the previous video i have explained so given lines of regression how to find out x bar y bar and uh, r value so here by using these two equation we can use your calculator simultaneous equation you can get the means of that that is uh, the values of x and y you are going to get x bar y bar easily by using your calculator then using one of the line uh, so first i will go with lines of regression with uh, y on x so consider first equation from this first equation i am trying to get y on x i got this equation so from the second equation i got the x on y so using these two equation i will find out what is the coefficient of x uh, coefficient of x and coefficient of y so therefore co correlation uh, coefficient is given by the value r equal to plus or minus square root of coefficient of x into coefficient of y which is equal to square root of minus 2 by 3 into minus 6 so which is equal to 2 so if this is uh, one of the value plus or minus uh, 2 here we can consider plus 2 since both are 
same values we have negative negative we have so we can consider two value uh, two is the plus two is the answer we have more than one regression lines as we have more than one regression lines so we can also go with one more uh, way of solving this x on y consider the first equation i will rearrange that uh, equation x on y and second equation as y on x i am going to get the correlation regression as what r equal to 0.5 by using the same concept first i will go with x on y then y on x so after getting the lines of uh, regression so here i will find out the coefficient of y and coefficient of x substituting those two values i got the answer as r equal to 0.5 so these two are representing the correlation coefficient this is how to solve the problems of question number 6 and module 3 i have covered module 1 module 2 module 3 you can refer my previous video for updates you need to subscribe to my channel and press bell button and also don't forget to press like button for my encouragement i need a like button from your side i thank you all for watching this video